Welcome to Robinson Foundry. In today's video, I'll be casting some really cool custom silver and bronze coins. In a recent video, I reviewed this laser cutter and asked for suggestions on how I could incorporate it into future projects. Someone suggested a unique method for creating coins, which I found really intriguing. The way it works is you engrave and cut out a pattern from a piece of acrylic. Then you flip the pattern over and reposition it into the leftover piece, using it as a reference for engraving on the opposite side. This worked out really well, and in no time at all, I had a really nice pattern to work with. And that is actually a picture of my face. It took some experimentation to get an image that would work for both laser cutting and metal casting, but I eventually figured it out. Laser cuts don't create perfectly perpendicular edges, and in this situation, this will be useful. When intentionally applied to a pattern, this slight angle is referred to as draft, and you'll see how this is going to help when I make the sand molds. This is a special casting sand called Petrobond. It's a very fine oil bonded sand that will be able to capture all the intricate detail on these coins. And here's where that slight draft angle helps out. It allows the pattern to release from the sand without breaking any sand away. This is the bronze I used. It's an alloy consisting of 90% copper and 10% tin. It'll take about an hour to melt in this little electric furnace, so while it was heating up, I made another five molds. Once the bronze was at the right temperature, I carefully filled each mold, trying to make sure to not overfill them so that I wouldn't burn up the wooden flasks. Once I was done pouring these molds, I swapped out the crucible of bronze for a crucible of sterling silver and then cast another six coins. All 12 of these castings turned out really nice, and aside from a couple air bubbles here and there, I'd say they turned out just about perfect. Now 
Next I needed to make them as round as possible, so I used my lathe to machine a couple of pieces of steel to use as a file guide. I lined each coin between the file guides by eye and then used a couple V blocks to ensure that they were aligned properly. The bronze and silver is quite a bit softer than the steel disc, so I just filed all the way around until I got to the steel and then ended up with perfectly round coins. With the coins perfectly round, now I could start reading the edges. That's what the little ridges on the edge of coins are called. This is a knurling die. It's used for putting grooves into things like thumb screws, but I thought I could make it work for these coins. I thought of a bunch of different ways of doing this, but this really simple setup ended up being the easiest and it worked perfectly. After doing this a few times, I started to get the hang of it, and they only ended up taking about a minute each. Well, these look really cool, so with the reading done, I could start polishing them up. And to do that, I just sanded them, and then polished them up with a die grinder, followed by a little bit of steel wool. Well, I'm really happy with how these turned out. They really look and feel like real coins, and I think it's pretty cool that I got a picture of my face on them. I'm sure these coins will be around a lot longer than I will, so in a way, I've immortalized myself. If you'd like to follow along with the whole process of my projects, then consider joining my Patreon. I post multiple Patreon-only posts a week there, and you'll also gain access to any of my 3D printing files, as well as the file I've used to make these coins. I doubt anybody out there actually wants to make these, but it'll be available to you if you want. Well thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know what you think in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe for future videos.